People with a business pattern thrive in fast-paced, competitive environments of influence and profit. When I'm successful, it's a good feeling for a little bit, but really all it does is just make me more hungry, just to get out there, get another sale. I think I just kind of get addicted to my personal growth, how my business is growing. Some people think competition is bad, but really competition just makes us all better. We're all striving to be better, we're all trying to improve. You know, what's that niche that someone else hasn't considered? Their territory stretches from the floor of Wall Street to the shelves of the corner store to the halls of government. Sometimes people don't want to listen to your ideas. Some people have a totally different mindset in terms of what your um, strategy should be. But I think part of the leader is keeping on target, keeping on task, and, and getting people bought into one common goal. They can sell you what you need, motivate you to follow, or convince you to see things another way. You really have to set a vision that's compelling and a vision that shows people, hey, we really are creating something for the greater good so that there's a sense of meaning. And if you don't, if you don't get people's buy-in, then you can't, can't move forward. From insurance sales agents to bank managers, lawyers to sales representatives, people in the business area like to persuade and lead. Ever since I can remember, you know, I can always take in what other people are doing and use that as ideas that I can build on, but I think at the end of the day, I'm kind of going to march to the beat of my own drum and it seems like people tend to follow. Enthusiastic and confident, the business person likes to take charge and works best at full throttle. They are the movers and shakers, running in high gear, immersed in everything they do. I just love sharing my perspective. I really think I've learned a lot and I, I like to share with people my lessons learned, my best practices, you know, really how to improve when it's a business group, really how can you improve your bottom line and maintain your integrity and maintain your ethics. They don't stop until they reach their goal. Just because of the nature of the business with it being so competitive, you always kind of have to be a step ahead. And a lot of times that may mean late nights, early mornings. You have to get the job done no matter what it takes. And it might take 12 hours. Maybe it only takes six, but chances are you're going to be up at the crack of dawn trying to make it happen. And you're not going to go to sleep until you know you have accomplished it. A good day for someone with the business pattern involves people and fulfilling their needs. When I come into an account, my objective is to try and get a win-win. That's one of the things that I love about this job is being able to assess the situation, what goals my retailer might have, instead of just selling to them, being able to consult with them. Driven by a desire to be the best, they leave the base hits to someone else. This group is out to hit a home run every time. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. And so it's one of those things like, things can come up all the time, but they're just opportunities to learn. These enterprising types enjoy competition. They're always in the thick of things, initiating projects, managing people, using their talents to organize and activate. Their strong speaking and leadership skills get results. I think it's really important to not let circumstances define you. You really have to define yourself and your goals and who you are. And uh, that's what makes you successful. Satisfaction comes as you match your interests to your career. Success is closely tied to effort and a winning attitude. It was interesting because I always just kind of had this natural leadership ability in which people would say, hey, can you, can you organize us? Can you guide us? Can you know, give us the different pieces? And I always just really had a sense of like, okay, this person's really good at this, this person likes that. Because I was always about making it so that the individuals could really have success in what they were doing and help the group as a whole. No matter the size of the corporate headquarters, the need to stay up to date is critical to all. Every person with the business pattern needs to invest in lifelong learning. It's really big just for the fact that anywhere you go or anything that you want to do, you want to grow. Whether it be training classes, it might be reading up on the current trends that are going on in my industry. You really kind of have to be hungry in order to keep growing. Supercharged, goal-oriented people are needed to get projects started and lead companies into the future.
Follow your interests. The world relies on the energy of those with the business pattern to set the pace.